In mathematics, you often hear the phrasing necessary and sufficient conditions. Sometimes it's a bit confusing because you may not be sure what that means. Another way that we can talk about necessary and sufficient conditions is with the word if and only if, which is often abbreviated to IFF. So if you ever see IFF, it's not if, -if it means if and only if. Now, what do we mean when we say necessary and sufficient conditions? Well, really what we mean is saying something like something if and only if something else. So we like to say P if and only if Q. P and Q just are placeholders for some statements. Now, if you think about if and only if, what it means is you have the forward direction, which is if P, then Q, and you have the converse, if Q, then P. So let's think about a little example. Now, in this example, I'm going to use something that you may have recognized from my other channel about graph theory videos. We have this example, that a graph is bipartite, is bipartite, partite, if and only if the graph has no odd cycles. In fact, I made an entire video just on this exact if and only if statement. So we could say G is bipartite if and only if G has no odd cycles. And what do we mean when we say necessary and sufficient? Well, the fact that we have if G is bipartite, if G is bipartite, then G has no odd cycles, So if you think about the property of whether or not a graph is bipartite, and if you don't know what that means, don't worry. Think about bipartite as the important property that we want to determine. Then we would say that a necessary condition is having no odd cycles, because if it is bipartite, then it's necessarily having no odd cycles, because anytime it's bipartite, it has to have no odd cycles. So that means that this part right here is a necessary necessary condition for the graph to be bipartite. Now what about sufficient? Sufficient conditions mean that the condition is enough to tell you that the graph is bipartite. So it's this statement. If G has no odd cycles, then G is bipartite. If G has no odd cycles, then G is bipartite. What does that mean? Well, it means that as long as you know that G has no odd cycles, that is sufficient to tell you that it's bipartite. So we say that the condition of having no odd cycles is sufficient because it's enough to give you the fact that it's bipartite, and it's also necessary because if it's bipartite, then the condition is satisfied. So hopefully that clears things up in terms of necessary and sufficient conditions. Just remember, if and only if is IFF, and it means necessary and sufficient conditions.